Greetings, everyone. This is Terry Naturally with another edition of Terry Talks Nutrition. We're here every Saturday and Sunday morning from 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And we are here for you. We are hopefully sharing with you information that you can use to improve the quality of your life, a healthy life. There is nothing more critical to maintain a healthy body and chemistry than the food you eat. Food is our fuel that determines and influences us, our genes, our DNA, our chemistry, our metabolism, and everything about our body is based on what we eat. A healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle prevents disease. Food reverses diseases. Food cures diseases. You and I have the ability to change the health of our body in a more dramatic way than anybody else that we may think that we would want their advice. Doctors cannot provide us with a healthy lifestyle. They may have some ideas, but very, very rare because doctors have no idea about health and nutrition. They study diseases. And most diseases are caused by our choices and also by a lack of vitamins and minerals and other accessory food factors like polyphenols. If we don't get enough nutrients, our body malfunctions, and those malfunctions are considered diseases and then are only treated by drugs and not a restoration of the vitamins and minerals that may be lacking. So we're here to share with you information, scientific studies, evidence-based science that provides the information that can help make you a healthier person. It's all up to us. No one's going to change our health like we can. But we have to want to do it. We have to make the choices. We have to have the discipline. You can't eat the same diet that caused the disease and just lower the amount of food you're eating, reduce the calories, or whatever. Nothing's going to change unless you make a huge change in the way you live your life or our life. I'm not telling you to go off your drugs. I'm not prescribing any medications. I'm offering you ideas that you may use to have a better quality of life. So like some of the subjects today, we're going to talk about ashwagandha, an herb from India. And then we'll talk about a super brain aging process and four reasons why we crave sugar. Why sugar is bad for us. Sugar is a poison. Now it does not kill with one teaspoon of sugar, but over a period of time, sugar has such a dramatic effect in destroying our metabolism that it is toxic to our body. Then we'll talk about the dangers of a drug that most people use today try to try to avoid a heart attack. But there are tremendous dangers to this drug. A very simple medication that you can buy over the counter. And why late night eating causes a weight gain. 
So can you eliminate eliminate gluten, which can help your eyes? That's a new one. And then treating kids with cough. Oh, we have a lot more. But we never, never have enough time to cover all the topics that we prepared for you. I hope that all these topics bring you good health. And it's all done here on Terry Talks Nutrition. I'm your host, Terry Naturally. And we're always here Saturday and Sunday. You can listen live via the radio, as you are probably now doing, or you can go to the TerryTalksNutrition.com website, and you can go to the radio show section and click on live and listen to us via your computer anywhere around the world. You just have to adjust your times as to wherever you are to be on the same time we are here in the Central Standard Time. But you can also go to the archive section of the radio show and select any radio show you like and listen at your convenience, whether you travel, bike, jog, whatever you're doing, walking, you can listen to Terry Talks Nutrition. Take it with you. Keep learning. Keep adjusting. Making changes getting healthier, getting better. It all doesn't happen overnight. Each day you make new steps to get healthier. You can also read my newsletter. I write a newsletter every week and post it to your email address every Friday. So you can subscribe to the newsletter or go into the archive section of the e-newsletter and read all the newsletters. And if you're looking for something in particular, go to the search section of the e-newsletter and type in a word, like arthritis, or hypothyroidism, or cancer. And there'll be a number of newsletters that'll come up and guide you and, and help you learn more about that topic. So let's get on with our subject today. We have lots to do and lots to cover. But here is a topic due to the season of the year. What do you believe in? Believing in something means to accept it as the truth. It's your belief, my belief. To feel very sure of something. What do you believe in? You know, everything you believe in, with passion, with emotion, strongly believe in something, that eventually will become your reality. When you, what you think about, what you believe in, what you talk about, will become your lifestyle. And at this time of the year, A few of my beliefs stand out. Why do I do this show? Why do I write books on health and nutrition? Because I believe in caring for others. Guiding people to a better health. I believe in the magic of Christmas and the birth of Christ. in a tiny, small manger, stable, and how that has impacted the world and the joy that it fills in our hearts and unfortunately, not very much in our nation. But I still believe it'll happen. God and Christ will come back in our lives and in our nations. I believe Christmas is more about giving than receiving. And I believe the more we give, the more that God will give us to give. 
And that, the best gift in life, is good health. Give it to yourself. It's yours. You deserve it. You deserve a good, healthy quality of life. And you're the only one that can give yourself the gift of good health. This is a fantastic time of the year. Not a time to receive. And it's only one day of the year that people seem to give. But we can give every day of the year, not just one day, but 365 days of the year, we can give. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be anything big. Could be a smile. Could be a note to somebody. Just to tell them that you think they're beautiful and you love them. Could be a phone call to someone you haven't talked to in ages. Could be some relative that you haven't talked to because you don't have the same beliefs. But put beliefs aside. It's more important to love. Love everyone. Reach out to everyone, to anyone. Give of yourself. It's inexpensive. And maybe Christmas and the, and the Christ child will teach us what love really is. So uh, I wish you a merry, merry Christmas and you are blessed beyond the imagination. God bless you, my friends. So let's go to work. Have you tried ashwagandha? This is one of my really standout herbal products. The American Botanical Council is a nonprofit organization that actually reports on the benefits of herbal medicine. And they dispel myths regarding herbal medicines. And they report the science on many different botanicals. And they report very current information to the AMA and to the FDA. And just in the past, they have reported that the highest sales growth for any herbal product in the mainstream sales channel was ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is grown primarily in India. India does not grow ginseng. Ashwagandha has become known as the Indian ginseng because some of the properties of ashwagandha are very similar to red ginseng. I love both. Ashwagandha and red ginseng. They're two of my most favorite adaptogens. And when I say adaptogens, they are herbs that meet a classification that they're totally non-toxic, no side effects ever known, and they provide an ability to withstand stress, provide energy levels, improve libido, and just build a resistance to be stronger and healthier. They help us to adapt to changes. Now, we meet changes all the time. Cold weather is a stress. Hot weather is a stress. All the problems that we have in life that make us worry stress us out. We're running out of cash. We have a mortgage to pay. 
I lost my job. What am I going to do? Now, ashwagandha is not going to fill your bank account. It's not going to help you find a job. But it's going to help you withstand the stress of situations that are not under your control. And even some of them are under your control, but they still stress you out. They'll make you a better person to be able to find a better job, to be a more productive person, and withstand the stress. Now, ashwagandha has gone from number 33 in sales in America in 2019 to number three in 2021. Elderberry, as I have spoken about recently, is number one. Elderberry is number one. Turmeric and curcumin is number two. So why is ashwagandha so popular that everybody is buying ashwagandha? Because it relieves stress, depression, anxiety, mental health conditions. It reduces cortisol levels. Those levels that are too high that indicate that the body is under stress, the person is under stress. There may be depression, anxiety. It increases testosterone in men only, not women. Increases testosterone by up to 18%. Reduces fatigue and increases energy levels. Help you sleep better. There actually is some research by drug companies trying to isolate the component in ashwagandha that helps you sleep better. They're trying to make a drug out of it. You don't need a drug out of it. You have it, ashwagandha. But in order for them to patent a drug, they have to find the exact component the fraction in ashwagandha that helps you sleep better. But you don't have to buy the drug. You don't care if they ever produce a drug. You have ashwagandha, which in itself will do that. It improves mental focus and alertness. Helps you learn better. Helps you to study better. To have better cognitive function. Better brain function. Now, typical extracts of ashwagandha are standardized to about 5% of the key compounds called with analytes. But most recently, research has used a higher standardization up to 35%. That's seven times stronger than typical ashwagandha. So that means you can take a a lot less and get more benefits. So taking 150 milligrams of the highly standardized ashwagandha at 35%, one to three times daily, and there are no adverse events, no side effects, Ashwagandha is a superior adaptogen. It helps our body to adapt to those negative conditions and reduce their stress and build the resistance within. So it helps us to cope with the environmental changes. Now, anytime that you're under stress, anytime that you're feeling not yourself, anything that creates disharmony in your life, 
nervousness. Something isn't just right. Ashwagandha will help you cope with those conditions that are causing you to have those stress conditions. Anywhere from one to three capsules daily. 150 milligrams per capsule. Look for a natural ganda that is 35% of the key compounds that are the workhorse of ashwagandha. Now, the super age brain. Wow. Do you have a super ager brain? Well, researchers at Northwestern University in Chicago have been studying what people who have outstanding mental performance as they age, what do they have in common? They're trying to find these people that have outstanding mental performance, even as they age, they recall everything. You give them a long list, like in a story, of key words, and then ask them what those key words were, and they'll remember every one of them. So what do these people have in common? Well, the subjects in the study, a person had to be over age of 80. Passed extensive tests on brain function. And have a memory as good or better than normal people in their 50s or 60s. Approximately 10% of the people who apply to the program will only be accepted. And what these people have in common, most people's brains shrink as they age. The brain of the superager shrinks, but much, much more slowly than typical. They have three times fewer tangles or abnormal protein clumps, which is the hallmark sign of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. They have more of the neurons that allow rapid communication across the brain, which helps improve intuition and social interactions. Additionally, super-agers stay active physically. They challenge their brains every day by reading or learning. Many continue to work way into their late 80s and maybe even to the early 90s. And they maintain strong social connections with friends, family, and their community. So how do you boost your brain? How do you make yourself a super-ager? You can. You can boost your brain with B vitamins, B like in boy. In older adults, over age 60, simply getting the daily recommended intake, the minimum amount needed to prevent deficiency of vitamin B6, reduce the risk of mental decline by 32%. Vitamin B9 or folate, Reduce the risk of mental decline by 46%. And vitamin B12, a very special form of B12, called methylcobalamin, reduce the risk of mental decline by 33%. And when combined with red ginseng, HRG80, 
which boosts mental performance based on several studies in Germany and throughout the world, would perform would help perform more effectively brain function as we age. So we can make our brain a better quality of function. We can improve as a super ager. We don't have to get old. Yes, of course, we're going to get older. But we don't have to get old earlier or accelerated aging. We can slow the aging process. And that's what it's all about. Getting older slower. Being more productive in the mid-80s, late-80s, early-90s. If we have the right nutrition. You know, our mental faculty, faculties are dependent on nutrition. And I think really, truly that much of the decline in mental function has caused violence and people to do some horrible things in this country. Our diet is not nourishing the body or the brain. And what is feeding the brain and the body is a lot of refined carbohydrates and sugar, which eventually lowers the function of the brain and body, causing depression, mental decline, anxiety, and mental illness. Our body needs nutrients to be healthy. Our brain requires nutrients to be healthy. And I just gave some facts that are scientifically proven that we need for our brain function special B vitamins. As I mentioned, vitamin B6. It reduces the risk of mental decline by 32%. Now, B vitamins are water-soluble. We don't have them in the American diet. 95% of all flour and grains are refined and processed, stripping, stripping the nutrients out of the flour. White flour makes up the pasta, the bread, all the grain products, the flour products, all of these products that we consume on a daily basis have little or no B vitamins. And they're water-soluble. They only stay in the body for a very short period of time. They have to be replenished on a daily basis. So B6 reduce risk of mental decline by up to 32%. So I'm going to pause here for a moment. I'm running out of time, and I see the clock's going past my time. So I'm going to pause here for the station to identify itself, and I'll come back right after, right here on Terry Talks Nutrition. I'm Terry Naturally. Welcome back, my friends. This is Terry Naturally with our second portion of the Terry Talks Nutrition radio show. We're here every Saturday and Sunday from 8 o'clock until 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And our subject today is right now, as I broke into the commercial time, how to boost your brain. If you want a better functioning brain, maybe your job requires it. Maybe you're still in college. Maybe you're still having a tough time passing all those tests or even conducting tests. Mental faculties. Mental function is dependent on nutrients. You can build your brain function, boost your brain function. Just by getting the recommended daily intake of the minimum amounts of three very special B vitamins 
to prevent deficiency and improve mental health. So as we as, as we get older, everything slows down, right? We don't run as fast as we did when we were 20. We don't think as fast as we did when we were 20. We don't learn as easily as we did when we were 20. Many things have changed, rightly so. But we could slow that process. Research shows that after the age of 60, just getting these three B vitamins, Reduce the risk of mental decline of B6 by 32%. That's a third. B9, which is folate or folic acid, reduce the risk of mental decline by 46%. You know, it's like trying to run your car without gas. Not going to work. And we're trying to function with a body that we're not providing the fuel for our body. 46% decline in mental illness. And we have so many people suffering from mental illness in the United States. And vitamin B12 Now, B6, B9, and B12 are all methylated. It's a very special form of B vitamins. You can reduce the risk of mental decline by 33%. Combine this with red ginseng, HRG80, which has several studies that have shown it actually improves mental function, Focus and learning, it boosts mental performance. So we need to make changes to provide a better functioning brain. Now, according to Mind Body Green, there are four reasons. We have, we crave sugar. You crave sugar. I crave sugar. But you can stop craving sugar. Once you give it up, you lose the taste for sugar. Now, here are some reasons you might crave sugar and how you can fix it. You are tired. Sugar gives a temporary, temporary boost in energy followed by a crash. For lasting energy, eat fat and protein instead of sugar. Adopt the ketogenic diet. And that will give you the fat and protein you require instead of sugar. And after a trial on the ketogenic diet, you will lose your taste for sugar. In studies on the ketogenic diet, they found that many people who had all kinds of mental illnesses, like depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, were no longer troubled with their mental illness. Sugar and carbohydrates, which is another form of sugar, cause all of these conditions that undermine our health and cause us to be sick. You crave sugar when you are stressed. Certain types of sugar are used to produce the feel-good hormone serotonin. Eating sugar when you feel stressed can quickly become a bad habit. If you want something sweet, choose a dark chocolate 
with over 70% cochlea. But just a square or two, not the bar. Don't eat the full bar. Just a small square or two will satisfy the sweet that you have a craving for. Now, your gut can be lacking nutrients. When your gut bacteria aren't getting the proper nutrition, they send a message to the brain for quick energy, triggering a sugar craving. So keep your gut populated with healthy probiotic bacteria and feed them prebiotic foods that feed the bacteria, foods including nuts, apples, and other prebiotic foods. Artificial sweeteners. This teases the brain for sweet and expect sugar, so the same process begins with the artificial sweeteners as it really does with sugar. So insulin levels increase, and sugar is pulled from the bloodstream, which tells the body, eat more sugar, eat more sugar, eat more sugar. So avoid artificial sweeteners. You're not helping yourself. Your body gets the same triggering message from artificial sweeteners as it does with sweeteners. They're not good for you. They're unhealthy and give you no benefits whatsoever. So look for a way to get rid of the artificial sweeteners. Now that gives you four reasons why you might crave sugar. So we have a lot more here for you and I want to get some very special things coming up to help you understand some of the dangers of daily aspirin. Dangers seems very simple, very easy, right? You're taking baby aspirin. Sounds okay. Or maybe you saw an ad on TV. Because you can buy these over the counter. The doctor doesn't have to prescribe these. But they tell you that you need them to prevent a heart attack or a stroke. Oh, yeah? A daily aspirin can be very dangerous. Researchers have estimated that 23% of people over 40 years of age who have no history of heart disease, and they looked at 50% of people over the age of 70 who take a daily aspirin to prevent a heart attack even though 97% of them were not told to do so or instructed to do so or prescribed to do so by their doctor. They do it because of ads on TV. But previous studies have shown that aspirin has little or no benefit whatsoever for preventing a heart attack but can cause ulcers and bleeding in the the digestive tract, bleeding of the stomach. There's no research whatsoever that shows that taking an aspirin daily can prevent a heart attack. But you will get all the side effects or possibly will. A new study in over 16,000 people 
over the age of 70 found that those taking a daily aspirin were 10% more likely to experience a fall than needed hospital care than people who did not take aspirin daily. Because aspirin reduces coagulation, thinning of the blood. It may be that the aspirin users experience more significant bruising and bleeding after a fall requiring hospital care than those who felt fell but were not taking a daily aspirin. Why would you want to take a daily aspirin when there is no research whatsoever that has proven that it'll prevent a heart attack? Because Bear has a lot of ads on TV telling you to take it. Don't listen. Turn the garbage off. They're out there selling their drugs, and you're the one that's going to have to pay the consequences of taking drugs. Now, here's a better choice. Grape seed extract. It's a better choice for heart disease prevention. Here are some of the best characteristics of grape seed extract. It provides a 6% reduction in high blood pressure levels in men with pre-hypertension. A clinical study of 287 people with plaque in the arteries, grape seed, now listen, listen to this, this is, a, this is magnificent. Grape seed caused a reduction in the plaque in the artery formation by so by 40%. 40%. Now there are two group two groups of people. One group was instructed to take grapeseed extract daily. The second group took a placebo. They were the control group. They took a fake pill. In the grapeseed extract group, they saw a 40% reduction in the plaque buildup in the arteries, while the control group increased almost 30 more percent in the same period of time. Grapeseed extract, 75% reduction in blood sugar levels. Returning blood sugar to near normal levels after using grapeseed extract. A 10-point reduction in total cholesterol levels and a 5-point reduction in the oxidized LDL cholesterol levels in patients with mildly elevated cholesterol levels. It also provides mild anticoagulation effects. It is not a blood thinner, but it reduces the stickiness of the red blood cells and reduces the risk of dangerous clots, does not impair normal function. So the dosage of grapeseed extract, French grapeseed extract, and the reason why I say French because I've studied grapeseed extract all over the world. And 95% of the grapeseed extract sold in America is from China because it's cheap. And when people see prices, uh, you gravitate to the lowest price, right? But in a, it's, it's quality that gives you the results. Low price may not give you the results. And in all the products that have been reviewed by experts around the world, grapeseed is the most adulterated 
supplement in the world. The OPCs, the oligo oligomeric anthocyanidins in grapeseed extract were replaced by the red skins of peanuts in adulterated grapeseed extract. Doesn't give anywhere near the performance. So make sure you get a high quality French grapeseed extract with no tannins. Tannins are those molecules that tan leather. They're astringents. You don't need them. They might be fine in wine because if you drink a very dry wine, you're drinking wine that has a lot of tannins. They're astringents. Black tea has a high level of astringents. That's why they add milk to a tea. So you want to make sure you don't get any of the tannins. Tannin free. French grapeseed extract. 300 to 1200 milligrams daily. Or you can also use a combination of French grapeseed extract with pomegranate and the P5P, which is the biologically active form of vitamin B6, or magnesium, menphotamine, for superior heart health. Grapeseed is your natural alternative medicine for a healthy heart. If you want a healthy heart, healthy heart function, or reverse that heart disease, or reduce high blood pressure, increase circulation, reduce the swelling in the ankles and the calves, grapeseed extract, French grapeseed extract. It is very superior. Why do people gain weight when they eat late at night? Well, for better health, Eat your meals during the day. Eat your food during the day. The connection between eating time, sleep, and obesity is very well known, but not very well understood. Researchers in Chicago found that daytime, meaning daylight hours, is the optimal time to eat. Because this is when the body is most metabolically active and burns energy released as heat. They tested two groups of mice eating the same diet fed entirely during their active hours, light, or fed entirely during the inactive hours, dark. And the results of this animal study, despite eating the exact amount of calories, the mice eating only during their natural rest period gained more weight and were less healthy than the animals eating during their natural active period. So stay more active, eat during the daylight hours, not at nighttime, not before, just before going to bed, and you'll lose weight. So can eliminating gluten help your eyes? I think everybody will improve to some degree in some fashion by eliminating gluten. There's a huge connection between the digestive tract, dig <coughs> excuse me, digestive diseases and vision problems. Celiac disease is an autoimmune condition caused by the immune system overreacting to the presence of gluten. Continued exposure to gluten leads to inflammation and damage of the small intestines causing diarrhea, gas and bloating, fatigue, malabsorption of certain vitamins, including vitamin A. Vitamin A is critical for the eyes. 
And this is why people with celiac disease, gluten intolerance or gluten sensitivity can be at risk, increased risk of vision problems, dry eyes, night blindness, and cataracts. Anyone with celiac disease or gluten intolerance needs to eliminate gluten-containing foods, especially grains, pasta, cereal, processed foods. Add vitamin A and additional nutrients that support the eyes and take daily, like zinc that boosts the effects of vitamin A. OPCs from grapeseed will prevent and slow the process of macular degeneration and help prevent the formation of cataracts. Carotenoids, lutein, xanthine, reduce the risk of cataracts, protect against age-related macular degeneration, and shield the retina against the damaging effects of blue light. Very healthy combination for, especially for, for vision during the nighttime, nighttime vision. A and zinc and OPCs, lutein, xanthine, help to improve the vision during nighttime. Healthy nighttime driving. Or trying to read in low light conditions. And with that, my friends, I'm all out of time. It goes by way, way too fast. But we'll be back here tomorrow, 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And we're back every Saturday and Sunday. So join me. Tell your friends, family, if you think they'll get a boost out of this, please encourage them to learn more about their health and nutrition. So say a prayer for this crazy, crazy world. God bless you, my friends, and God bless this great country. Thank you for listening to Terry Talks Nutrition Weekly Show. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review on your favorite podcast platform, including Apple, Google, and iHeartRadio.